Hi everyone, this is Jessie Zay from the Cohocton Public Library. Today we are making hand print robins out of salt dough. So this is one of Azalea's hands that we did earlier. And it's all dry and we painted it to look like a robin and we glued on a googly eye. So today we're gonna start with our salt dough, which is pretty simple. And then I have another one that's all finished and we'll paint it together. The recipe I'm using is from my King Arthur flower cookbook, um, but it's a pretty simple recipe. It's, um, and I halved it. So we are using one cup of flour and a quarter cup of salt, and then just enough water to make everything come together. And it is warmer water, like your Play-Doh most of the time, all right? So one cup, and a quarter cup. I'm just using your all purpose flour and regular table salt. Whatever you have handy will probably work. And this is a lot of fun um, to play with, just like Play Doh. And then you can let it air dry and then, or you could bake it in your oven. But they are beautiful for ornaments and nice keepsakes. Add a little bit of water to get everything coming together. Okay. I added a smidge, too much water. So we're going to add some flour just to bring it all together. I don't want to dump it all into my bucket because then I'll have too much flour. There we go. So you just want it to all clump together into a ball. So that we can mold with it and shape it. Now, we'll dump it onto our plate. Now, we didn't make up kits for this because they were items that you might have at home. But if you're looking for any items or you need some more flour or salt, just let us know. We probably have some. We also have googly eyes and paint if you'd like to decorate what you made at home. So one of the tricks that I really like to use with my salt dough is plastic trays or lids. So I have a to-go container lid and that way um, the Play-Doh doesn't stick to my plate. It will pop right off of the plastic. So I'm just gonna take enough to make like a base that I can press my hand into. Spreading it out, get this out of the way so you can see. Spreading it out. Your child's hand will probably fit on a much smaller lid, but if I was using mine, I'm gonna press it right in there. I'm keeping all my fingers together and in the same direction. Okay. Now, if your hand is sticking like mine is, we're gonna use a little bit more flour. coat our hands and that will make it come out of the play-doh the salt dough a little bit easier um, with your little okay wash it in a little bit more so you can see the hand you see all the feathers well, they'll become feathers okay and then if you wanted you could stick in um, an eyeball now you could also use a straw to poke a hole, let's see, somewhere near the top where you might want to hang this from a tree or from a window. I like to use a straw to 
because it pulls the dough right back out with it. All right, so we can see our fingers. This is the palm section where the beak is going to be and we're gonna paint that in. So you just need one handprint on your Play-Doh and then we're gonna let that dry. Now it will take a few days to dry depending on how thick it is. So um, the top will dry first and it'll look dry and then you'll pop it off and the back will still be wet. So pop it off and flip it over on your plastic and let it dry for a few more days. You could also put this in your oven and kind of dehydrate it for a little while. Low heat for just a little bit of time. Right now I'm pulling in my paint. All right, get everything laid out again so I can show you what I have. I have some paper towel. I have another little handprint and I have some paint brushes. We're gonna paint this with red, brown, and gold for the beak. You can see it, okay, good. So I'm going to start with actually my brown. I'm gonna paint the fingers brown. I'm gonna leave the base of the palm because that is where our red is gonna be. I need a little bit more brown, hold on. The salt though will absorb some of your paint, so you probably will need more than you think. Um, but it is also water soluble, so don't get it too wet or it will fall apart. But I have had these last a really long time. You can also add um, cinnamon or scents to your dough. All right, so we did all the fingers and everything except for just where I'm gonna paint it red for its Robin's red breast for its chest. And I'm brushing that from that spot that we didn't have covered out into the brown to kind of spread it out. And then it needs a beak. Get a little bit of our yellow right here. If you can see that. A little tiny pointed beak. All right. And then once this dries, we'll stick on our googly eye. So we end up with two little robins. All right. I hope you have fun playing with dough today and painting. And we will see you tomorrow for story time at 1030. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day.